monster. It's a monster. We're right here off the coast of Little Farmer's Key. Daniel Brown's reeling in a fish. We're about to find out what it is. Our depth's about 7.8 feet. Let's see. Caught on that lucky bright pink and purple lure. Barracuda. Grab her. Grab her. I got it. Oh man, he's a beaut. Hold on, I gotta get these uh, flyers. Hold on, I can get that pops. Got him. Got him. I'll get this. One second. One second. This one's a trickster. Wait, hold on, Dan. I can't get it. I got this. What's wrong with a stupid thing? Oh, he, oh, don't let him back in. honey, I'm doing the best I can. I ain't, I ain't got the Daniel Brown muzzles. Where's that little grabber thing? Depth are we at? Eight. Ah! Whoa, Dan! Oh! Okay. Dan, are those left on him? They're come off. Dan! Ah! You lost your grabber. <laughs> The grabber's still on the fish! That's why I don't want to put lines up. Now we're headed to Great Guana Key in the Exumas. It's just to be a big settlement there. Black Point Settlement. We're going to anchor out there. Making our way to Georgetown, yeah. slowly. Ooh, it's a pretty day. Blue water. Starling's been sending us emails talking about we need to upgrade to the ocean plan and then we started getting text messages yesterday. So now we're just cutting off our internet as we go underway because we don't really want to upgrade. We're hoping we're close enough to shore when we anchor that it don't throw a flag or where it may be. But everybody says there's zones but if you're close enough in to shore then you're considered on land or you can use little hexagons. Uh, we'll see what happens. Maybe he'll give us a little bit of grace. Let's keep our 135 a month plan instead of going to 250 and being limited. Some underwear and they play croquet with the flamingos and the hedgehogs. Let me say, let me say it. Mmm, buddy. Oh, I think you'll make it. <laughs> Jess will pull you. You gonna stand up again? Uh, that's all the way you get better. That's how Moana does it. Moana. Hey, 
no such thing as a green flag. <sighs> <laughs> we did catch a barracuda, but we lost the grabber. A grabber. We picked up this morning, left little farmer's key, and heading to down. Georgetown. Excited to go somewhere we've been before. We've been to Cocoa Plum Beach, so it's kind of cool to go places. It's fun to go new places, but it's, it's even cooler sometimes to go places that you've been by land. Came down here going through Galliot's cut, but I hit the little farmer's cut. Uh, now. In the waterway guide, it says it can be like a tsunami. You have an ebb tide and opposing winds, which I don't think we have if we know the correct definition of ebb. I think it means going out. We're unplugging our Starlink still, so I can't, can't Google it. If we were to get right here and the cut looks terrible, we can always turn around and go back. Going through Galley at Key Cut right now. Are you under or over your other line? You think it's going to be the biggest one? Over that other line. What do you want me to do? I can reel it in real fast. No, uh, no, just play, play off, play off. Play the fish real fast. See him right there? Oh, yeah, it's a mahi. What is that? Oh! <gasps> oh! Like a large man. <laughs> Walk with me and hold this reel. Do not let it go. Ah. Yeah. Uh. Don't fall off the boat. Move back. Move back. 
Jack, you don't see any boats, right, baby? No tornadoes, no water spouts. Two. <laughs> Look for water spouts. What? No, there's just a storm out there. We're not in the storm. Is that the biggest one? Yes. trying to outrun this storm where we saw a water spout at and it wouldn't have been an issue except we caught Daniel caught this massive uh, mahi so we had to slow the boat down quite a bit it took a while the lines got tangled and then by the time we got the fish in the boat and in the cooler the storm had already kind of come over us so we're right on the tail edge of it trying to get around it and it, the storm's kind of changing how it's doing. Looks like there was a, another water spout trying to form. I'm trying to figure out what we're gonna do about the storm. try to anchor, hit some of the stuff in the northern part of Great Exuma. But we've been fighting storm systems the whole time. We have a big storm system right in front of us. And we're hoping it just breaks apart. Or moves, or moves away and not towards down. us. It's like right over water. Yeah, it's right. Right where we need to be. <laughs> I'm scared if we change like when if we go above it or below it, it, then it may move on down there. So, yeah. Taking it easy going in and seeing what it does. And the other side is flat. Oh, uh, those sides of skin. I gotta pull it up that skin still. Yeah, you can get the next one, all right? No. Or you can do this other side. Filet isn't even a word. Filet is a word. It's not. It's not in the dictionary. Filet is. Not every word's in the dictionary. I promise you, filet will be in the dictionary. Chick fil A. I don't think Chick fil A's in the dictionary either. Did I just? Can you do this to the little boy? all the way from our anchorage to Big D's restaurant in Great Exuma. That's pretty cool. Um, the water's been rough. We've been kind of dodging uh, thunderstorms. We got, it's kind of drizzling right now, but pretty excited to be here. Oh, 
Daniel Brown's getting us out. We are leaving Black Key right now. We're headed to more of the middle of the Great Exuma Island. Uh, going to, it's kind of closer to a restaurant called Splash. We ate at in November. It was really good. Today we ate, we ate at Big D's Conk um, restaurant. It was, it was really good. And we had ice cream at a place two, two doors down. Um, we were out at Stockton Island. Too. Yeah, not far from Stockton Island. And it's been raining the whole time. It has not stopped raining. So it's, it's been raining since we pulled in. And it has not been raining all night. It's still raining, which is really unfortunate because they've got Coco Plum Beach down here. That's so pretty, but couldn't really get to see the prettiness of it because of all the clouds and rain. But we did hit Pig Beach. That was cool. More pigs on the beach. Entertains the kids for a minute. And now we're going back. We probably stayed here about 24 hours. Where are we going, Juju? Turtle. We're going to see the sea turtles at Hooper's Bay. Yeah, one's going to come to me, one's going to come to me. They're going to take me to Great Beach. If you are ever near Great Exuma, you should check out the sea turtles at Hooper's Bay. They typically hang out between the docks and usually come right to you. It's definitely worth the stop.